Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do a coloring supplies um, video just to show you what I have, the materials that I work with when I color. I watched Shaleen's video. If you hear all of a sudden a squeaky noise, it's my chair. <laughs> um, I watched Shaleen's video and it was really interesting to see what other people have and their materials that they use. So I thought I would um, do one too. Now my stuff is in no particular order because I have it all put away on the um, my desk and the cubby like the hutch that goes over my desk and I pulled it all out um, and I laid it out on the bed so that I would be able to show it out to you. So it's not in any kind of order. Um, actually the way it's pulled out is the stuff in the back got put on the top of the pile because obviously it was in the back as I pulled it out. So so we'll just get started. This is um, Prismacolor Premier 48 set. These are my backups. I don't have... Um, I don't have... Uh, I'm not coloring out of this tin is what I meant to say. <laughs> Sorry. But these, um, when I started buying the Prismacolors, I bought open stock first, and then I went to the 48 set, and then I went to the 150. So these are like um, duplicates that I had in when the 150 came, and I put them all together and um, stuck them back in the 48 tin just to keep them safe until uh, I'm ready to use them. So I'm going to actually put those over here for now. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, here I've got a set of two, um, these are the, um, I can never pronounce that, the, let's see, Co Noir, Co I Noir, um, blender pencils. I get these at Hobby Lobby. They come in a set of two, as you can see, for $3.99, and, um, I usually use the 40% off coupon on them, and then... You know that's really inexpensive and these are nice I like them um, they get a little bit of a buildup on the tip though and then uh, it just needs to be sharpened off or whatever but um, I have the Prismacolor ones now and I'm, I'm using those currently I bought here's the Prismacolor blender I got this at the Blick store and it also came in a double pack and um, I've got one of them in use now and this other one's on backup I don't see a price tag on this one though so I'm not sure. I can't remember how much these were. Maybe like $4. They weren't very expensive either. So, so that's those. And then I have um, various washi tapes. I'll turn that. Now, the washi tapes are new to my coloring. I saw a video um, that coloring, it's either coloring by Claire or coloring with Claire. She did where you can use washi tapes as a border. So these I got at um, TJ Maxx. There's like eight of them, I think. And they were really cheap, $4 for eight at TJ Maxx. And um, so I've been using, actually this, just to show you, I did this picture um, for Shaleen's Color Along as a spring-themed picture. And I used that washi tape on the border there. I thought it looked really cute. I got it kind of wonky over there on that side, but it was my first time, so not bad. But that's what it looks like when you put it on as a border. Um, I think it's kind of cute. It just adds, you know, something extra to your picture. And so I have, like, you know, more. This one's a leopard print. I got a glittery one here. I actually have some Halloween ones, but they're put away um, in storage. This polka dots. More polka dots, chevron print. This one's an argyle one. I picked this one up the other day at Dollar Tree. I thought that one was really cute. So these are just, I'm glad that I watched that video from her because it showed me what I can do with the washi tapes and um, gives me an excuse to buy more. All oh, right. <laughs> okay. Um, next I have my acrylic paints that I got. Um, from Michaels and wherever. I think Michaels is the only place I've got them. So I got quite a variety here of the deco art ones and um, also this brand that comes from Michaels. Craft Smart, I guess. Craft Smart. So those are my acrylics and I use them occasionally. Um, I don't use them as much as I thought I would just because I don't really have the hang yet of doing the acrylic wash. Thing, but I'm working on it. And then th this is just a little itty bitty stencil thing I picked up at Walmart one day. Um, I, I do want to get some more stencils. I think they're kind of fun, you know, to, to work with those. Um, let me get these out of the way over here. 
So, and those are really inexpensive. That's what's nice about them. They're super inexpensive. So this is the Wink of Stella. What's so funny about the Wink of Stella, excuse me, <coughs> is that I thought these were fake. Like I didn't know. I saw people saying that they used Wink of Stella in their pictures. And I'm like, what that? Is? I never heard of that. That's not real, but it is real. And this is a three pack. It, it's got gold, silver, and um, clear. And they're brush tip markers. And they just leave like a little bit of, uh, you know, like some shimmer, not exactly glitter, but they leave like some shimmer on your pictures. And so I got them from Amazon in this three pack. And I just keep them in the box because it's a good way to store them. Threw them over there. <laughs> um, okay, next I have, I have all these, you know what these are, my stickles. <laughs> stickles and glitter glue. I have all of those in um, one little basket there. And then I have these giant ones. If you saw, um, if you're in the Reading with Pugs um, Facebook group, you might have seen, I put these on there. These were like some big bottles that I picked up at... Um, uh, um, five below. That's what it's called. And they were in a pack of five. So these are pretty large bottles. Um, I got these at five below and they came in the five pack and not all of them are good. The, the gold one is good. The, um, this silver one here is pretty good. And, um, I liked this gunmetal or a dark color, whatever. That one was really good. But the clear, and then there's a black, that's not, not the greatest, but that's okay, right? You know, you live and learn. For five bucks, that's really inexpensive. All right, so my chair's squeaking. Let me, I'm gonna move some stuff around so I can show you guys better what I have. Sorry, this isn't the most efficiently put together video ever. But then it wouldn't be one of mine, right? Huh. Um, these are um, loose eyeshadow pigments. I used, um, actually, I have a ton of these. Whoops. And um, I got them from this company called About Face Cosmetics like a long time ago. I used to be really into them. Um, they're like eyeshadows. You can use them for blush to different colors. And recently I used them to uh, color a grayscale picture. I think I put the I put it up in some group. I can't remember, but they're all just like various colors and they're loose pigments like that. This is just a small uh, example <laughs> of what I have. I have a ton of them because they were really inexpensive. I think they were like $4 and I used to, like I said, wear them. So I have probably, shoot, like 125, 140, something ridiculous like that. Um, and I don't use them anymore. But um, then I discovered I can use them in coloring. And to apply them, I have this little collection of um, eyeshadow brushes, applicators that come with eyeshadow that I use. I use um, makeup brushes, so I don't need these. And so I take them out, and I was always just throwing them in a little container. And now that's what I use them for is to apply that kind of stuff. So, so that works good. I also grabbed these one day at the store. They are like, um, they're for nail for doing your nails one end they're like q-tips but one end is pointed and the other end is rounded and I thought that they would work really good for um putting the eyeshadow and stuff on my pictures but they don't they work terrible <laughs> so, so I guess I'll have to use the the um the the eyeshadow applicators so here is my uh collection of paint brushes that I have, and you're gonna see these in some other, these are like Mardi Gras cups. If you've ever been to Mardi Gras, you know that like they have them, you know, they give them out down uh, on bourbon and stuff like that. I have a whole bunch of these because my I have family that live in New Orleans and so they're always sending me stuff at Mardi Gras time and I've been down there and, for Mardi Gras and everything. So so these are my paint brushes that I don't hardly ever use, but I have I used them a couple of times. It's just that I mostly use, um, Mostly just use them to put on my stickles and then when I do a background and stuff. Cheap paint palette that I picked up at Michael's for like $1.29 or something like that. What I do with my stickles, because everyone talks about um, how do you use the stickles. What I do is I, um, because the bottles are too hard for me to squeeze with my hands, so I will squeeze out some stickles into these little wells and then I just take my paintbrush and I put the stickles where I want them to go and then I wash the palette out with soap and water afterwards. And that system works pretty good for 
me. So I have nothing to complain about there. These are some oil pastels I bought from Michaels. When I very first started coloring, I didn't know anything about art supplies and I heard people talking about pastels all the time well that those were like soft pastels uh, and chalk pastels and I didn't know that at the time so I went and I bought some of these at Michael's and then I have no use for these I don't know what to do are they just like crayons someone help me with these because I don't know what to do with them <laughs> I've never used them um okay this is another thing you'll see is I have a lot of makeup bags because I I have tons and tons of makeup bags so I just use them for my coloring supplies so this holds my um um Prismacolor Verithins and if you are not familiar with what the Verithins here I'll show you guys what the Verithins are it's just they're um they're hard lead um, Prismacolors so you still get the good color and stuff that you you get with the Prismacolor Premieres but they're smaller and they um, are hard they're not soft and they're really good for tiny spaces you know how like when you try to color with your Prismacolor Premieres in little bitty spaces it's hard to stay inside the lines well these are really perfect for outlining or for going in tiny itty bitty spaces and I recently as in yesterday ordered the Moon Blossoms book off of Amazon and I think I'm gonna get some good use uh, uh, for my Verithins in in um, that book so I keep those in my um makeup bag from Avon <laughs> put the lips on it and you zip that up I'll put that over here and then this is um another makeup bag <laughs> that I won in a giveaway with some sheet masks I think from leaders in solution but um this is just like a uh, overflow so it's got like anything I have doubles of as far as markers um this is where they go so like my Crayola markers that I have doubles of my sharpies that I have doubles of I have um gel pens the white jelly roll I bought those in a three pack from Hobby Lobby so I have extra of those the doubles the and triples or whatever they all just go in there so that's how I store those okay next I have this is really inexpensive sergeant set of eight multi-culture well the price tag is right over it I think it's what are they called anyways it's skin tones color of my friends and it's the skin tone set from sergeant and when I very first got into coloring people um I wanted to know what pencils, like what shades specifically I should use for um, skin tones. And so I picked this up because I figured it would be good as a guide. They were super cheap. $2.99, as you can see there, if it'll focus. $2.99, and then I had um, a 40% off coupon, so so that helped. So, and, and these aren't bad pencils. I recently used these... Um, what did I use these for? Something not long ago. And they didn't do bad. I wouldn't use them probably in my, like, uh, Hannah Carlson books or the Korean coloring book that I got with the the Portrait of Beauty one. Um, I'd probably use my Derwent ones, which are right here. So these are the Derwent skin tones I got. But the, um, the Sargents aren't bad. And, I mean, they're really, really not. I'm not trying to say they're the greatest, but they're not horrible either. But then I picked up this Derwent set of skin tones also because I wanted to try the Derwent pencils. So I figured that would be a good way to see if I liked the um, Color Soft line. And um, so I picked up the, the these. But I've only used them once so far. They come with a sharpener. Um, but I've only used them once. in the paper, the book that... Oh, there's a cat here. You know how that is. <laughs> the book that I used them in was not very good quality. It had Create Space paper. So it didn't do um, a really great job. Uh, but that wasn't the pencil's fault. It was the um, the paper. So I plan on using those more soon. Okay, I'm gonna put these out of the way. And then here we have another makeup bag. <laughs> This one is from this one is from a Mac gift set I got at the holiday time at Christmas time. But um I use this one because it's really um padded. It's like really soft and padded up really good. And this has my triples in it of the um 
the Prismacolor premieres. So like when I told you I started out with like extra um, open stock and then then I got um, the 48 and then I got the 150. So some of them I actually had three of. So my triples I put in here and um, it's nice and soft so they don't get um, broken or knocked around or anything like that. All right, moving on. Okay, so then next I have my Prismacolor 150 set. And I think I'm probably the only person that keeps them in the case. But I like that because what I do when I'm coloring my bed is right next to my desk where I color. And I just can set them out. I set all the trays out on the bed and I can wheel my desk or my chair from the desk to the bed over to the bed and pick out what pencil I'm looking for. So I really like that. Um, it's just convenient for me. I also don't travel with my supplies like hardly ever. And when I do, I can just take something smaller. So right now I don't store them in a case. Although I have seen a lot of cases that people have and it makes me kind of want one. Um, and that leads me to, I'm going to show you guys this while I think of it. My sharpener that I use, Keith got me for Christmas, and it is the Office Pro sharpener, and it's a battery-operated sharpener. And I have to tell you guys, I love it for the Prismacolors, because I hear people talking all the time about how their Prismacolors um, break, and I've never, ever had one break on me. Now, before I had this, I used the kind of pencil sharpener that we had back in elementary school that's mounted on, like, the edge of a desk. We have one in our garage that's mar mounted on his work table and um, on, his, on Keith's workbench, and I would, like, gather up all my pencils that needed sharpening, and I would take them out to the garage and sharpen them, and I never broke one that way either. But this pencil sharpener works really, really good. So let me find one that's kind of on the dull side. And I'll show you guys. So this one is sunburst yellow. And the tip on it, wait, where did I, I lost it. There we go. The tip on it is kind of, you know, wonky. Now this pencil sharpener is loud, just so you know. But... But it's pretty good. I mean, you can see it does a good job. And it has an automatic shut off, but I find that with the Prismacolor premieres, they're so soft that it doesn't, um, it would sharpen away too much of my pencil before it turned off. So I usually just pull it up after a short while. But I mean, that's a pretty good tip, you know. So I like that um, pencil sharpener quite a bit. It does a really, really good job. And this is the Office Pro, and it was purchased on um, Amazon. And the batteries that come with it, you know how usually when something comes with batteries? Something. When something comes with batteries, the batteries are crap. I still have the batteries in it that it came with. So that's kind of impressive because I use it a lot. All right, moving on, I will show you my other stuff. So this is my, um, basically, here's another Mardi Gras cup. And these are my um, Stablio fine, like ultra fine tips or whatever. These are the um, 0.88. I don't know if you can see if that's gonna focus or not. Well, anyways, you can, these are the 0.88s, and I like these a lot. And what I really like, too, is that they have those at Blix, um, and I can, I recently purchased, like, an extra of the black because I use those a lot, the black ones. All right, and then these are my Crayola Super Tip Markers. This is um, a make, well, it's, like, to hold pencils, but I got them at the Dollar Tree, and I was using them for makeup brushes, but now I use it for my markers. And this holds all 50. So these are my, um, these are 50 of the um, Crayola Super Tips, and I really, really like these markers. I started with the 20 set, then I went to the 50, and now, because I watched Shaleen's video, I know there's a 100 set, and I'm like, uh, I can't sleep at night knowing that exists and I don't have it. <laughs> okay, that's like a slight exaggeration, but I really, really want them, because I do use them so much. I use these a lot. If you've seen me post pictures, um from my Deborah Miller books or even this one the one I used the washi tape these are um I use the Prismacolor or not Prismacolor 
I use the Crayola Super Tips on all these little flowers and the borders like that and everything. That's the tree, the teapot. That's all these Prismac... Ugh, why do I keep saying Prismacolor? That's all these Crayola Super Tip markers. And then I just go back in with pencil and shade over them. So they're really inexpensive too. I mean, they're super inexpensive. I think I got the, the 50 set for $7. So, so yeah. Definitely I would suggest those. This is my... um. Faber Castell Polychromos, and I also have a white uh, jelly roll that I'm currently working at stuck in there too. I wanted to get the the Faber Castells in a set um, of 36 to start off with, and I went to Blix, and Keith was going to buy me the 36 set for my birthday, and they didn't carry any sets in store of the Polychromos, but they have open stock. Now that's just the store I go to. Um, I don't know if they're all like that, but so I couldn't. What I did was I picked out um, 24 of the colors that appealed to me personally, and I bought them. I'm really glad I got them this way instead of buying a set because they are beautiful pencils and they produce really, really nice um, works, but they're a little bit hard on me to hold, and they're heavier than the Prismacolor, and I think they're a little bit thicker, and it, it kind of causes me to have pain in my thumb. Um, when I'm holding the pencil so after a while so the I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to invest in a bigger set because I don't want to pay for them and then not be able to use them because they hurt my hands when I like my Prismacolors also and they do a really nice job um, so I'm not sure I've got to use these more before I make a decision of that but they are nice pencils and I think everybody probably loves them I know so many people think that they are their favorite brand and I I do I think they're great quality it's just that me personally with my hand it it seems a little bit difficult for me to hold on to those. So, um, next I have my Marco Raffine, Raffine, I'm not sure how you pronounce them. I got those. Those were my second set of colored pencils that I bought. Um, my first set was, um, Crayola that I started with when I very first began coloring. And then, um, when I started to branch out a little bit, I got those off of Amazon, the Marco Raffine or Raffine. And I like these a lot. I would like to try the Sudi style pencils that everyone has been talking about lately, and I will at some point. But I don't. I don't feel like a big urgency at this moment to get them because I'm pretty satisfied with what I have at the moment. Although I will get them eventually. Um, I just, gosh darn it, I just want books instead. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you. It's like, do I want coloring books or pencils? Coloring books or pencils? And I feel like I have so much right now. So, but I do enjoy using these. I especially enjoy using these in. Um, my um, books that have create space paper like the Deborah Muller books um, that I love so much because they don't they're not as soft as the Prismacolors so they go down over that coarse paper better in my opinion um, than the more expensive pencils do so so I really enjoy these and I do want to get those Sudi style ones that I know are very similar eventually um, these are pencils that I never see anybody talk about these are Royal and Lang Langenickel. I don't know. They just say Royal Color Pencil on them. But um, I got these at my Meyer store, which you can get these any place. And um, Royal and Langenickel is a brand of art supplies that's been around for a really long time. I think these are really good pencils. I would put them um, in with the Crayola to the Marco Refine category. But I like them. And I'll tell you what's really, really good is they have a um, set of metallics that you can get. This is one of them. My sister got me the metallics for Christmas one year with some coloring books. Uh, and I couldn't believe how well these are. These are really nice. They're metallics. And you can pick up the metallics at Five Below. I have seen that set there. Um, at Five Below, my Five Below locations have quite a bit of Royal and Lang and Nickel um, art supplies. So I would definitely pick up that metallic set. They're very nice. They are super smooth and they blend really, really well. In fact, when you blend them out with a blender pencil, they look really deep and rich. So I was quite impressed with those. This video is going to be a billion hours long if I don't stop talking. Okay. Um, more pencils. These are my Crayola pencils. I'm trying to not tip a tip the, these are all my Crayola pencils. I got the set of 50. Um, well, I had the set of 
24, it, like, when I very first started coloring, and then they, um, I was recently, like, within the past couple months at my grocery store, they had had, like, a holiday edition of the 50 set, and they were clearance out for $5. So I picked those up because Keith likes to color, too, but he won't use, like, my Prismacolors or my favorite Castells because he says they're my fancy pencils, and he doesn't want to waste them. So he uses the, the Crayola or the Marco Raffine, and um, so I picked up these, and a lot of them haven't even been used yet, but, but I like them. I think they're nice. You know, I think Crayola kind of gets a bad rap as being um, like a kid's brand or whatever, but so this is my container of Sharpies and Bic Market pencil or um, Bic Market markers. I really like the Bic Market more than Sharpies, actually. Um, I do want to get the 36 set of those. I know that I said I don't want really want a lot, but that is something I really want. Um, I use the black... Oops, the black Bic Market uh, on the background of this pen, um, picture. I use the Bic markers quite a bit as backgrounds. They they don't streak like the um, Sharpies tend to do. I really, really like them. So I definitely plan on getting those at some point. And here are my gel pens. These are the Lollies brand gel pens. I got them for Christmas two years ago. Keith got me... A double pack of them so those are the ones that are currently in use and then I have a um, let me move this one out then I have a backup a set of them they both came together with that are 48 so they have six standard six neon six swirl 12 glitter 10 metallic eight milky and their glitters are really nice um the gold glitter one I had already used up so I had to pull that one out and then I think there's another one that I pulled out too, but I think the pink one. But their glitters are really, really nice. I don't know if you can purchase the glitters individually though, or separately from the big set. But I'm satisfied with these. I don't use gel pens that much, so so I'm definitely, you know, satisfied with them. And those are the Lollies brand, in case anybody's wondering. And then, last but not least, <laughs> I have this little makeup bag with just odds and ends and doodads in it. I mean, nothing uh Nothing, just my doodads. So I think these came with, oh, these are little tiny colored pencils. <laughs> they came with my um, Supernatural coloring book in the horror block that we were subscribed to. Little tiny colored pencils. I have like my stubs of my um, blender pencils in there. Keith uses those. I've got some uh, Twistable Crazy Art uh crayons in there you know what I didn't show you guys I do have a set of crayons to my like Crayola crayons I don't I don't know those are put away somewhere so that's just like odds and ends that I throw in there for for whatever and I guess that's it that's all my coloring supplies I was hoping it wouldn't be half an hour long and it just about is but um yeah so you know the thing is is like with coloring supplies I think like we see these videos and so many people are blessed to have so much good stuff and I think that's great and then some people just can't afford it or they don't want to invest that much in it in, in their hobby and that's fine too. And I'm really satisfied with what I have um, as far as my supplies go and I'm really, um, I'm, I'm just good with it. You know, I'm, I'm not really wanting too much more. Although I, like I said, I would really like to have the 36 set of the Bic Market Markers and the 100 set of the Crayola, uh, Crayola Super Tip Markers. And eventually the Sudi styles, but none of those things are really that expensive. So, so I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's good. It's good. But this is what I use. Um, yep, that's it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll let you go. Thank you so much for watching and question or comment below. And I will see you probably, let's see, I'll have another coloring video up next week, I guess, because I'll show what my um, finished pages were for May and um, any new books that I accumulated during the month. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have good coloring and enjoy yourselves, and I will see you in the next video.